Guys, look what showed up yesterday. This showed up right before I was about to leave for work whenever it told me it was going to be here August 5th. And like the whole night last night, I was like, I cannot wait to get off and finally get my hands on this and just install it. One thing I am happy that this is going to do is I painted the chrome plastic around the stock grill two years ago. I'll post a picture of it now. And what uh what ended up happening is because I live in the Midwest, just all the road salt and everything eventually just got kicked up and it chipped itself. And I got tired of repainting it. I painted it once more to, to try to fix it, but it's just last winter got chipped up again and stuff. And winter's obviously coming up soon, hopefully, if 2020 doesn't end. But uh, this, this is a very nice high gloss finish it's very shiny at least on the front side on the back it's just matte pla matte black plastic but i'm very happy with this this will definitely hopefully not chip at least not as quickly as my uh my paint job does it was just done with rattle cans but anyways let's uh let's go put this thing on see what it looks like you can see right here what i was talking about with the uh the chipping of the paint coming off and the chrome being exposed so that's what i want to replace all right let's get started so the way you take these off is there's two bolts right here they're 10 millimeter and you got two right here you get those i mean if you want to take the whole bumper off there's two more and then there's two more 10 millimeters underneath but hopefully from the videos that i've seen you should be able to see the four up top and then you can get your hand back there and it should pop right out. Keyword is should, because it never works that way. So most likely you're gonna see this thing in a second with the bumper off. Okay, got the four screws right here. Let's see how this goes. Holy shit. I just, dude, I barely put any pressure on that. That's awesome. So it actually does pop out that way. I heard the tap pop off, so we'll have to find that. How did I do that? Okay, I see. Okay, so as you can see, the grill is basically loose. I, uh, I popped off two metal tabs. No idea where they went. I think they fell down the gap and they're actually on the ground now, so I'll have to find them in a second. But what happens now is the bow tie is actually connected. I only have one. It's connected right there. You can see one of them. Those are, once again, two 10 millimeter bolts. That one doesn't even exist. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, it does. That's, never mind. There it is. That's a little peg. But yeah, two 10 millimeter bolts. So I got to get a ratchet and get back in there back around and let's have fun top piece is out now let's try the bottom piece and see how much trouble this thing gives me these tabs right here you got to push these down and get them underneath they're all across the top here so i'm gonna do that real quick the easiest way that i found to do this was just to get a flathead screwdriver just pop the tabs and use a little bit of force and just try to maneuver it around the bumper. You're just gonna have to play with it a little bit just to figure out how to do it. But it's fairly simple and just takes a little bit of finger strength. Alright, let's go get the fucking one piece and see what this looks like. So, it's a very rough fit because those pegs on the back, like I said, are now hitting the cross member because I haven't cut it out yet. It doesn't quite line up, but the holes look good. It just needs a little bit of finagling and stuff, so let's get this thing in. Alright, so for me, I'm cutting this piece out because I don't care. Like... I'm not going back to this to the stock grill. Like I said, I hate the way it looks. I like the one piece a lot better. And if I really want to, I'll just buy a new bumper. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. So always wear your safety protection and let's get started.
It lines up. Let's put this bad boy back in. So, my thoughts and reviews on this on this one. Uh, I can see now why it was cheaper than the others. It's cheaply made, you can tell. I don't know, it'll work for now. So the, the thing that I don't like was it's only held on at this bolt and this bolt. That didn't line up and that didn't line up, which isn't too big of a deal. But the clips out the bottom that are supposed to hold on underneath don't there's room so i can pull on the grill a little bit granted it is locked in up top it's not going anywhere but uh i don't know yeah those these clips down here they don't lock in i guess for some reason so we'll see how it holds up i'm going on a two hour road trip tomorrow if it's really bad i'll just order a new one but that's how you install one of these it was super simple um, you don't have to cut out the cross member like I did if you don't want to. If yours comes with the little tabs like mine did, you could just cut those off on the grill. It'd be much easier if in case you do want to go back to stock. But like I said, for me, I don't care. This looks a lot better. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. My name is my name is Ben, Scarnage, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I also have a gaming channel, and if you're a fan of Skyrim, we found a mod that makes Skyrim multiplayer. Go check out our series on that. I'll put the link down in the description. But... You guys take it easy, stay cool, stay safe, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. All right, so my thoughts on the bumper are as follows. For $90, it's really good. Compared to like the $120, $130, or $170 one I've seen, I don't know the quality of those, but for $90, it's pretty good considering how much of a discount you get. The only thing that I really don't like about it is the fact that none of the bottom clips are attached. There's probably a quarter inch gap between the uh, the bumper and the bottom of the clips. So not really a big fan of that. And I'm also not too huge, but this is actually pretty minimal for me on the, um, the two holes up top in the middle that don't line up. They were also off a little bit, but it is held on by the two 10 millimeter bolts. And I went on a four hour road trip and drove several more hours during that road trip because of where we were vacationing at for the weekend. Uh, that was on July 31st, and it is now August 21st. So I, I'll i give this a solid 7 out of 10. It would get higher if it was, uh, if the clips on the bottom actually did hook up and was locked in place. But for the price, the ease of install, and I don't know. I mean, so far it hasn't had any scratches or anything on it. So I guess the quality of the product, let's say, yeah, it's... It's been solid so far. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this install. Uh, this is my gaming setup. Normally, I don't have a face cam on. Uh, I do have it, though. But for the games that I've been playing, I just feel like it kind of kills the immersion if I have a big-ass here's my face in the corner. So if you do enjoy gaming videos, uh, my channel is also down in the description. Go check it out. And I will be putting out some more content there very soon. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to install a one piece grill on your Tahoe. Follow me on Instagram as well. If you want to see more stuff, I've got some exhaust from black widow coming in very soon. So I am very fucking excited for that to come in. Stay tuned. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out. It's Garner's causing Garner's likes.